Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Rather a quiet day as I said earlier today. We might get away for Saturday. I think I mentioned that yesterday already. Um, but yeah, quite quite a strong way for, but still within the micro resistance area. We're going to zoom in in a minute. Um, let's talk about the let's talk about the two structures that are still valid and relevant here. First structure is this yellow count at the moment not preferred until we get for more evidence for it. Um, but then again, you know, this is just directionless swinging up or down or swinging up and down in a price range. We're really in a range. Okay, so it's it's range trading here for anybody who wants to, to trade this at the moment on this time frame. Uh, for anybody who is getting, you know, in, in order to avoid being sort of swayed by the ups and downs of the market in this corrective structure, you want to zoom out and just trade the larger time frame. I've shown it so often how to do this. Buying the dips, use your triangle. We talked about that. Position sizing and then selling when the market makes a rally available instead of trying to trade every single wave in a correction. Um, Elliott waves have very limited predictive powers within corrections. Yeah, within corrections, it requires constant adjustments of the relevant levels and they are not meant to be predictive, especially not in a correction. But what we use them for is to identify when a low has formed and we use them to track five wave structure and also to get the resistance and support levels and possible targets. Uh, I could also completely delete the micro counts here and it, it might even be better, <laughs> you know, um, but obviously they are also there for educational purpose and everything. I can only just say all the time that they are not there to be predictive, really. Okay, that they, we use them to calculate targets, obviously, and to understand when the chart changes direction. Chart is currently, again, in a pivot, in a pivotal area, and we're going to take a look at that. So in the yellow count, um, again, no change. The wave four could have bottomed here on the 20th of March. Wave one to the upside, wave two to the downside. Third wave could be unfolding to, th to 81K. The reason is that a third wave should ideally reach the 1.38 extension as a minimum. And then a fourth wave could follow and a fifth wave. So this would be a diagonal pattern because here this would be an A, B and a C wave would follow. When can we say that this is actually what's playing out? Well, it would take a first one, two setup in wave C to confirm that. The C wave is a five wave move. So we need some kind of a one, two, and then we can say, okay, probably now we're getting into the third wave of that C wave, then a fourth and a fifth. So until then, it's not clear because we broke yesterday below the Wednesday low. So the yellow count, while it's a possibility, it needs to prove itself. And so far the market hasn't really given us any strong evidence that this is what's playing out. The market could still transform into a larger, I mean, this could still transform into, you know, more extended corrections, whatever. But for now, the idea is that, um, yeah, we're holding above support. Yes, the yellow count has a chance, but no evidence for it. In the white count, and that's the one that seems more probable, we have an A wave down, we have an A, B, C in wave B, and then a C wave down is preferred at the moment. I'm not sure what's that what's going to do what what this is going to do with the altcoins because many altcoins are already deep in support I wouldn't rule out that this chart is going to morph a few more times this is just unpredictable in corrections I did mention it many times there are more than 10 pathways or directions um a chart can take at every juncture in these corrective patterns there are more than 10 or 12 corrective patterns in Elliott wave and at each juncture when one of these corrective legs is finished uh, there are more than 10 chance, you know, probability, you know, possibilities for the next move. So that's why I often say, you know, micro counting in corrections is nice to do, but it is not to be, you know, understood as predictive. So all I can say with to you, I see all the time the potential that these might change again. For example, it's still possible the B wave resets a bit higher. Absolutely. It could always form into a more complex corrective pattern. But the micro counting that we're doing tells us when this is becoming probable. For example, we have a B wave top, five waves down, could be a wave one. Rally in wave two, should be a third wave down now. Should have really in the third wave reached the 1.38 extension, didn't do that. 
means maybe we need to be on the side of caution. If we now see a break above resistance, something different might be playing out. And um, But again, it's not the way to do it, to, to maybe short Bitcoin now in a way five. We're in a bullish market, I wouldn't do that because there is a potential for changing wave counts all the time in these corrections. Therefore, I say this is the key range. Have your triangle, measure your position size, scale into support. You can even start scaling in higher, draw a line in the middle of the range, buy below, sell above, very simple grid trading. That's essentially what a grid bot is doing. Um, and when the market makes a rally available and profits available, just take some partial profits. At the moment, the resistance area is 80, or it's stretching up to 68.1K basically, 68,144. A break above it means that something is again changing. Yeah, something is again changing. And there are many options still the market could take, but it tells us that this white pathway to the downside as suggested here by the impulsive count to the downside, well, that's not what's gonna happen. Most likely not. Yeah, so it's a, this is the pivot. A break above it means this is like um, this is like the key level, the key pivot that distinguishes between bearish momentum in the white count and bullish momentum, possibly in the yellow count or maybe a larger triangle is forming or something, right? So that's the next, if resistance breaks or when resistance breaks, there are plenty of other questions we will have to deal with then. But first of all, let's see if resistance holds or breaks. Uh, currently, the rally into resistance, well, it looks corrective. Looks like a three-wave move at the moment to me. So let's see if the market gets rejected as it did already up here. Yeah? And then we should see a fifth wave down that reaches 64,330 next. Um, could also turn into a triangle, of course, when it's weekend. Key level is really this one. And a break above it could send us higher to round about 71,200 next, where we have the next resistance. So yeah, not much happened, not much changed. Still watching here for eventually a move down into support, possibly will change my view if we get above uh, resistance, then we need to see, okay, what's the structure of the break? Do we have an impulse and so on? So lots of other things to be discussed then, which we can then do in the next update. That's my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership also make sure that you follow us on instagram and twitter for additional content thanks a lot for watching bye bye